Now, part two of the Dumbs War, the deep underground military bases and the war going on beneath our soil, especially the United States here. I'm excited about what is going on in our country as far as uh, ex just evil being exposed. And the Lord, I believe, is just helping everything be exposed like it never has before. With that, I'm going to bring Gene on. I want to make sure I we introduce him better. There's a lot of new users that haven't heard Gene. And Gene, we have you on right now. Thank you so much for joining. And I'd love for you to spend some time talking a little bit about your awesome service to the country and your background. Yes, thank you, Rick. And it's my honor to be of service. Um, I did over 20 years in the U.S. Navy submarine force, uh, involved in special forces, started hand-to-hand -to -hand combat level training in 76, um, continue with that, started doing training myself in 87. I've been all over the world, under all the oceans, spent, if you add up the days, 12 years underwater. I became red pilled, and um, when I woke up, I just didn't want it to be true. I, it seemed so terrible and so hideous and so evil. So I, before the internet, I went into um, what we call the tombs and the deep underground areas, and did lots of research, starting with about 50, 70 hours a week. Because in the military, we're used to training for up to you know, usually average about three hours of sleep a week. So I got used to that. So that's I did serious training after a month i took my top five students told them to please prove me wrong they came back within a month and said it's worse than what i told them i was like that's not what i wanted you to tell me uh, there are certain things i won't talk about live i'm not allowed to have uh, social media meaning twitter facebook youtube you name it the the protection that is afforded me by walking the line of um, service to god i love this country i love this world
I love humanity and I love God and I am in service to God and that's the only reason I'm here. God gave me this assignment. The 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 spirit of God moves through me often in these decodes is how a lot of this information I obtain. He guides me in where to go, what to find to get all these links and all this information. I know this, you know, so deep that for me it's obvious. I understand it's not for those, and most of this is much of this is amazing and even incredible to the point of uh, it seems to be impossible. So, if you want to contact me directly, you can get my Gmail at C O L O S E N S E I. Sensei means teacher, Colorado, short for Colorado 64. Let's get rolling because there's a lot to go over with this uh, decode, as you know. And here it is. Uh, Gene, you want to kind of just give a summary of what we went over yesterday when nobody could hear you? <laughs> Yes, Rick, I would like to. Thank you so much. So um, I had a few questions from people that I can go into here. Um, the boring machines, I understand that seems incredible and impossible as well. Um, Amy, as you saw in the chat from when Amy Marcia, one of our great moderators, talked to me and asked me how did they work. Uh, they convert 20% of the material of the cave into very extremely high density a, like a glass-like lining for the entire cave. Another massive amount of that is much like insanely like Back to the Future 2 where the fusion system converts it to energy that it uses to bore the hole itself. Then it, a lot of it's turned to a gaseous um, substance that's blown and sucked out by high-speed machines that are running behind it that are sent out the tunnel. And so that is how those things work. Uh, if you have specifics on technology in regards to the Kuru as well, mm -hmm. Kuru originally, the name Kuru comes from a New Zealand tribe of cannibals that were very vicious and ferocious. And they believed by eating the, the brains of their enemies that they could gain their knowledge and power. And uh, God has forbidden that. And made a mechanism whereby if you do that type of thing you will get a buildup and uh, twisting in the proteins in your brain that is called a prion where it's turned much like a trans fat where it's the same chemical structure but the structure of the protein has been bit into essentially dark side or demonic and so that it causes stage one or um, somewhat unnoticeable but you start to get slight changes in behavior and memory ability and towards the end of stage one you see like with Merkel and Hillary where you get a sudden bouts of shaking like with Merkel or sudden twitches mm -hmm. like with Hillary stage two is where you get sudden outbreaks of laughter <laughs> You become very, very thirsty, like you see Hillary always drinking water when she was mm -hmm. running in 2016. breaks into bouts of very vulgar or, you know, like Tourette's syndrome and that kind of thing. Now, having said all this, why aren't I 50 points ahead, you might ask? Well, the choice for working families has never been clearer. I need your help to get Donald Trump's record out to everybody. Uh, mm -hmm. Once stage two runs its course, uh, at stage two, when they're doing those outbreaks and things, if you they get fluids, they touch you, spit on you, fluids from their skin get on you if they touch you and they're sweating heavily they are contagious in stage the end of stage two is death they collapse they can be rescued from that condition if you act quickly just like in a normal medical situation they rush her to chelsea's in this point and they then do some terrible things with children and provide them a thing on their back that then gives some of that stuff that they take from children and drain out her necrotic stuff. The two scientists that gave their lives for all of the people in the front range, they did a tactical nuke and took out that facility that had a dead man switch. That's what they call that because these evil people will not go down without a fight. 
they will take us all with them. They'll burn this world down and put, kill all of us with them because if they can't have it, no one will have it, including us. That's why I'm here. That's why I have been called by God and God gave me this chance and I stand by God and my service to him, this country and humanity. Thank you, God. And I'm glad and honored to be of service to all those here. So thank you. You can see here the tunnels, Area 51 over here, government underground facilities. Classified planning program will cost $68 billion in 2017. And then on that, Rick, the, uh, we went into the budget, the black budget. Um, these, the black budget and our GMP is one-fourth of this goes to these black projects. The dumb is 10% of that black budget there's another huge sinkhole that we haven't gone into yet it's where they're taking massive amounts of money these dumps currently are running as you see the budget there um that's not the full amount that's our huge taxes and as in the comments the crew or that's why you see the fires because when those people are infected at stage two if you don't burn them that is spreadable so think about the fact if those people died down there and you can see fires coming out of those storm hole covers the same thing could have happened with what they were infected with. Thank God for our military and our special forces leading the charge to save all of us, especially you out in California now. They're saving your lives. We're having some really strange earthquakes lately. This is the western United States. A lot of really strange 1.0, 1.5 earthquakes not being registered on any Richter scale. The USGS refuses to talk about it. And also, Iris refuses to talk about it. Now, here's China Lake Naval Station in California. This is California. Lake Tahoe, Mount Lassen, Mount Shasta, Eureka, which has old volcanic tubes big enough to drive a Volkswagen bug 30, 40 miles down those tubes. Been down in them. In them. So here's China Lake. Apparently, they're trying to create earthquakes along Mono Lake, Lake Tahoe, up to Mount Lassen, and across to Eureka. We had earthquake on December 26th and December 25th, but we've had a lot of 1.0 earthquakes lately here in Seattle. Now here is California, and we've had the San Francisco, here's California, Vesalia, Fresno, down towards China Lake. We know about the main China Lake earthquake, which is up in here, but it also caused a lot of earthquakes here. You notice we had a lot of large registered earthquakes here, and then, here's Baja, California, China Lake, but they're not showing large earthquakes there. In other words, even Naval Air Weapons Station at China Lake. And if you look at the photographs, you'll notice in the photographs, there's an awful lot of parking, and I'll let you, an awful lot of parking and not very many buildings, and it's mostly down, down in here. So China Lake is mostly an underground base. Now, why are they trying to do this? Why would they hide these earthquakes and not show the rest of them? That's a drill, humongous drill. Some of these high-speed tunnels, tunnels with high-speed trains. Those look like some type of, look at how many of those, there's like four entrances there. Or, I don't know if there's vents as well. That's water there, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, and that is a Coast Guard ship. Mm -hmm. They also have uh, submarine uh, canals coming in off Point Magoo, as I said last night in the decode. That's a maglev uh, train. The trays um, sit on a cushion of magnetism that the electrical magnetic forces pull it forward at those vast speeds. And it's also encompassed an electromagnetic field so it doesn't feel the G-force, which is um, very high tech, and that's how it moves. And those train, those tunnels are also desiccated, so that uh, not desiccated, but the most it's mostly a vacuum, so they don't feel a vacuum. A like right here is a obviously navy vessels coming in, right? Yes, sir. Those are some of the big navy vessels coming up, and you can actually they do have ones that take full container ships up. Twenty-five ton blast doors. Yep. But this is gives you an idea of just some of the pictures that we have. 
And you saw some of the highways there that the truckers drive that go throughout the entire United States. The high speed trains um, don't hit full speed on the Northern American continent. It's only when they go intercontinental that they go to the extreme high speeds. So, you know, getting from New DC to California would take no difference in time as DC to Tokyo. Uh, unholy six base that, you know, Lucifer is the top of that, and that's his unholy six below him. That's where he stays when he's here with his demonic empire. And then, um, as far as many of those bases, you know, as I read earlier, they are, uh, they house all kinds of demonic things. Yeah, so it's important, right? It's Ephesians 6.12 and put on the armor of God we talk about. Because for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Down there, the technology is so vast and it's so vast down there that it's like living in a timeshare. Yeah. So relocate the best of Earth's population, compliant slaves and their Illuminati satanic bloodlines, masters in massive underground caverns and deep underground military bases. I'll turn to is the dumb tunnel network covered in this decode. Here and then on the comment I had for the uh, earthquakes in China Lake that they were at Ridgecrest. They were Ridgecrest and China Lake. The Ridgecrest were taking out the entrances and tunnels going in. Yeah, and if you want to look for earthquakes and things, the best thing is now it is cleaned. And they had, the White Hats have it. It's the USGS. You can get a listing of earthquakes. They, the ones in DIA and that wasn't clean at the time. And so they had, they didn't post the ones that, that the people in Denver know because we felt them. But they're not on that USG list because prior to 2018, they had control of the USGS and they were taking out a lot of the information. All right, here's a website showing 140 dumb bases exist and they employ perhaps 200,000 people. All right, so you can on see. That, on that, Rick, people ask, you know, how can we not know with all these people? A lot of them never come up. A lot of them have um, dis the disclosure statements that they sign, like you see with Phil Snyder, who was murdered for telling about this. met Phil over the telephone approximately three years ago and in person about two years ago and during that period of time I became very well acquainted with him he was at that time still working for the government and he didn't say much about what he did but nonetheless over a period of time I became well acquainted with him I found him to be a person of integrity and honesty and about one year ago he became totally fed up with the New World Order and the establishment. He thought he was working for the betterment of mankind and the work that he was doing as a geologist for our government as well as for NATO. And he found out that it could be and was actually anything but that. So his revelations became, in many respects, my revelations. And I urged him last winter and spring to go public and lecture. Finally got him out. He's given over 30 lectures to date all very successful, very interesting. In fact, so successful, there have been 13 attempts on his life since the beginning of the year, and he survived them all. All I can say is, God must be protecting him because he has a message. So without further ado, I would like to introduce Mr. Phil Schneider and understand also everything is being recorded and the video and audio tapes will be available later. Please give a warm welcome to Phil Schneider. Thanks, Al. I guess uh, I can always start off by saying loose lips sink ships. Uh, uh, that's almost a pun anymore. I'm Phil Schneider. I worked 17 years for the United States government as a geologist and uh, aerospace engineer as well as a structural engineer. I worked for uh, such elusive uh, and elusive occupations uh, uh, with uh, Boris and Knudsen, Bechtel, Page and Page, uh, 
Aerospecial of France, uh, uh, and a host of other, uh, EG&G, and a host of other, Los Alamos Laboratory and these kind of things. But uh, rather than bore you with all those statistics, uh, I've got a, uh, cooked up a real mixed bag here of uh, different uh, topics, and it uh, might be a little bit uh, like brain overload, but uh, I'll start from the beginning. Now, and like I said, I worked 17 years, uh, uh, co-invented uh, methods of shape charge blasting as well as uh, laser rock deflagration, which means uh, uh, rock is uh, literally uh, uh, melted or, or, or powdered by a, a special uh, maser laser combination. Uh, and the residue of the rock uh, underneath uh, is, uh, is applied as a coating, as a liquid coating, kind of like uh, instant agate, if you could uh, imagine a hunk of agate, uh, which is a hard silica mineral. Uh, rock, actually. They'll not only kill them, they'll kill their families. And so they have a lot to lose by coming forward and talking about these things. Um, I didn't sign that agreement. My information is through my own investigation, my own going to these places, 
and insiders that I had that only talked to me, and that's why I will never reveal these people's identities. I promised them to, in order so that they don't have to go through what Phil Snyder went through. Look at that. Look at the size of those. They're just huge. That's a truck driver going through. 